Picture this. It's a scorching summer day. You walk into a 7-Eleven, and that familiar mechanical whirring sound hits your ears. You know exactly what's waiting for you. That perfect, icy, brain-freeze-inducing Slurpee that somehow stays perfectly slushy without turning into a solid brick of ice. But here's what will blow your mind. What you're about to discover isn't just how these frozen masterpieces are made. It's the secret science that keeps them in that magical state between liquid and solid, and why one city in Canada consumes more Slurpees than anywhere else on Earth. Because the real story isn't about ice or sugar. It's about a 50-year-old engineering marvel that defies the laws of physics every single day, and the billion-dollar empire built on brain freeze. Today, we're taking you inside the fascinating world of Slurpee production. From the flavor laboratories where mad scientists create liquid rainbows, to the pressurized chambers where carbonation meets crystallization in perfect harmony, we'll reveal why these machines are more complex than most people's cars, and how one small temperature miscalculation could turn your favorite summer treat into expensive colored water. So grab your dome lid and spoon straw. We're about to dive into the coolest manufacturing process on the planet. The journey starts in sterile laboratories that look more like Willy Wonka's factory than a typical food production facility. Here, flavor chemists work with over 200 different compounds to create those iconic Slurpee flavors that have been freezing taste buds for decades. But here's where it gets interesting. Creating a Slurpee flavor isn't just about taste. These scientists must engineer flavors that can survive the violent churning of a slush machine, maintain their intensity when diluted with ice crystals, and still deliver that perfect flavor punch when your tongue is already going numb from the cold. The base syrup starts with a precise blend of high fructose corn syrup, water, and citric acid. But the secret lies in what happens next. Each flavor undergoes what's called freeze point depression testing. This means every single batch is frozen and thawed dozens of times to ensure the flavor molecules don't break down under the extreme conditions they'll face in those spinning metal barrels. And here's something that might surprise you. That artificial blue raspberry flavor that tastes like childhood? It actually contains over 30 different chemical compounds, each one carefully calibrated to activate different taste receptors on your tongue at precisely the right moment. Now comes the part that separates Slurpees from every other frozen drink on the planet, the carbonation process. This is where things get scientifically wild. Inside massive, pressurized tanks, the flavored syrup meets its destiny with carbon dioxide gas. But this isn't your typical soda carbonation. The CO2 is injected at exactly 3.7 volumes. Any higher, and the gas escapes too quickly when frozen. Any lower, and you lose that signature fizzy bite that makes Slurpees addictive. The real magic happens in what engineers call the nucleation chamber. Here, the carbonated syrup is supercooled to exactly 28 degrees Fahrenheit while being agitated by diamond-shaped paddles spinning at 144 revolutions per minute. This creates millions of microscopic ice crystals that trap the CO2 bubbles in suspended animation. But here's the critical moment. If the temperature drops even one degree too low, the entire batch crystallizes into an unusable block. If it's one degree too warm, you get flavored water instead of slush. The margin for error is so small that sensors monitor the temperature 50 times per second. This is why a Slurpee can be frozen solid yet still flow like liquid. Those trapped CO2 bubbles act like tiny ball bearings, preventing the ice crystals from locking together into a solid mass. Those iconic Slurpee machines humming in every 7-Eleven aren't just dispensers. They're precision-engineered marvels that would make NASA jealous. Each machine contains three separate refrigeration systems, two pressurization chambers, and a computer brain that makes thousands of micro-adjustments every hour. Inside each barrel, a helical auger, essentially a giant metal corkscrew rotates continuously, scraping ice crystals from the walls while simultaneously mixing in fresh syrup. 
The auger's design is so precise that each blade is angled at exactly 23 degrees to create the perfect ice-to-liquid ratio. But the real genius is in the evaporator system. Liquid refrigerant flows through copper coils wrapped around each barrel, maintaining that critical 28-degree temperature while sensors monitor consistency. When the mixture gets too thick, warm refrigerant flows through the coils. Too thin, cold refrigerant kicks in instantly. And here's something that will change how you see these machines forever. Each one contains more computing power than the first space shuttle, all dedicated to keeping your drink at the perfect slushiness. When you pull that lever, you're triggering a carefully choreographed dance of pressure and flow. The slush mixture is forced through a specially designed nozzle that creates turbulence, ensuring every cup gets the same perfect consistency from first pour to last. Those dome lids aren't just for show. They're engineered with a specific curve that prevents the slush from settling and separating. The spoon straw? Its hollow design and perforated tip are calculated to deliver the optimal flow rate while allowing chunks of ice to pass through without clogging. Even the cup design matters. Those iconic 7-Eleven cups have slightly tapered walls that create a Venturi effect, helping maintain the slush's consistency as you drink. Getting Slurpee syrup from factory to store is like conducting a frozen orchestra across thousands of miles. The syrup travels in temperature-controlled trucks that maintain exactly 35 degrees Fahrenheit, warm enough to stay liquid, cold enough to preserve the delicate flavor compounds. Each 7-Eleven receives fresh syrup deliveries twice a week, with flavors rotated based on seasonal demand and regional preferences. But here's the fascinating part. The machines themselves are cleaned and recalibrated every single night using a process that takes exactly 47 minutes and involves flushing the entire system with sanitizing solution heated to 180 degrees. Miss one cleaning cycle and bacteria can form biofilms that are nearly impossible to remove. This is why every Slurpee machine is connected to a central monitoring system that tracks cleaning schedules, temperatures, logs, and even how many cups have been dispensed. Here's where the Slurpee story gets truly wild. July 11th, 7-Eleven is officially free Slurpee day when 7-Eleven gives away over 9 million free Slurpees in a single day. That's enough frozen drinks to fill an Olympic swimming pool. But the real surprise? Winnipeg, Canada consumes more Slurpees per capita than anywhere else on Earth, even in winter when temperatures drop to minus 40 degrees. Winnipeggers drink an average of 188,833 Slurpees per month, earning their city the unofficial title of Slurpee Capital of the World. Have you always been curious about the science behind a brain freeze? When that cold slush hits the roof of your mouth, it rapidly constricts blood vessels in your palate, which then quickly dilate, triggering pain receptors. The technical term is sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia. Try saying that with a frozen tongue. In Japan, 7-Eleven offers flavors like ramuni and lychee. Australia has slush puppies with flavors like lamington and pavlova. Each country adapts the basic Slurpee technology to local tastes, but the core science remains the same. That perfect balance of ice, carbonation, and flavor that creates the ultimate frozen experience. And here's something that will make you appreciate your next Slurpee even more. Each machine produces approximately 144 different flavor combinations throughout its lifetime. And no two Slurpees are ever exactly identical due to microscopic variations in ice crystal formation. So next time you hear that familiar whirring sound and see those colorful barrels spinning behind the counter, remember, you're not just getting a frozen drink. You're experiencing 50 years of engineering innovation, food science mastery, and a little bit of frozen magic that turns simple syrup into summer memories. Now that you know the incredible science behind keeping a Slurpee perfectly slushy, you might be wondering how other frozen treats achieve their unique textures. 
Because while Slurpees master the art of frozen carbonation, there's another summer favorite that uses completely different physics to create its signature bite. Check out our video on how popsicles are made, where you'll discover why some freeze solid while others stay creamy and the surprising reason why your favorite childhood flavor might taste completely different as an adult. What's your go-to Slurpee flavor? Drop it in the comments below. And if you're brave enough to admit you're a blue raspberry person, we won't judge.